Synergy ISDE how-to video. The Synergy Project Editor. Configuring your Synergy project. This video presentation will demonstrate how to configure your Synergy project using the Synergy Project Editor in eSquared Studio. The Synergy Project Editor allows you to set up the clock tree, configure the pins, add ThreadX threads, add SSP modules to threads, set up the messaging framework, and enable interrupts. The Synergy Project Editor also allows you to generate the project content. During this presentation, you will be shown how to use the Synergy Project Editor in eSquared Studio to configure and modify a Synergy project. After you have created or imported a Synergy project in eSquared Studio, you can use the Synergy Project Editor to configure and modify your Synergy project. If your Synergy project is not already open, double-click it in the Project Explorer to open it. Select the project and click the toolbar button with the cog to open the Synergy Project Editor for your project. Alternatively, double-click the configuration.xml file in your project to open the editor. Notice that the Synergy Project Editor has several tabs which contain various configurators for your Synergy MCU, as well as the Synergy Software Platform, or SSP. This video provides an overview of the tabs in the Synergy Project Editor. Look for dedicated videos for each tab for a more detailed explanation of their functionality. The first tab in the Synergy Project Editor is the Summary tab. It provides a brief description of the other tabs in the editor, as well as the selected board, device, and SSP version. It also lists the software components that are currently part of your Synergy project. The BSP tab allows the user to make changes to the SSP version, the selected board, or the selected device in case the project needs to be ported to a different environment. When the BSP tab is selected, the Properties view shows a variety of configuration parameters associated with the BSP. For example, the main stack size, the heap size, watchdog timer settings, ID codes, and whether or not ThreadX RTOS is used in this project. The Clocks tab presents a graphical view of the MCU's clock tree, allowing various clock dividers and sources to be modified. If a clock setting is invalid, the offending clock value is highlighted in red. It is still possible to generate code with this setting, but correct operation cannot be guaranteed. For example, if the USB clock divider is changed so the resulting USB clock frequency is 60 MHz instead of the required 48 MHz, this clock parameter is colored red. The Pins tab provides flexible configuration of the MCU's pins. As many pins are able to provide multiple functions, they can be configured on a peripheral basis. For example, selecting a serial channel via the SCI peripheral offers multiple options for the location of the receive and transmit pins for that module and channel. Once a pin is configured, it is shown as green in the Package view. The Pin Configurator simplifies the configuration of large packages with highly multiplex pins by highlighting errors and presenting the options for each pin or for each peripheral. If you select a project template for a specific board, such as the DKS7G2, some peripherals connected on the board are pre-selected. The Pin Configurator includes a built-in conflict checker, so if the same pin is allocated to another peripheral or I.O. function, the pin will be shown with a white cross in a red square in the Pin Selection pane and the Pin Configuration pane in the main Pins tab. The Pin Conflicts view provides a list of conflicts, so conflicts may be quickly identified and fixed. In addition to the connection status, the Package view also lets you view other pin characteristics, such as the selected drive capacity or the selected pin mode. Every ThreadX-based Synergy project includes at least one RTOS thread and a stack of SSP modules running in that thread. The Threads tab is a graphical user interface which helps you add the right modules to a thread and configure the properties of both the threads and the modules associated with each thread. Once you have configured the thread, the ISDE automatically generates the code reflecting your configuration choices. For any driver, or more generally any module, that you add to a thread, the ISDE automatically resolves all dependencies with other modules and creates the appropriate stack. This stack is displayed in the Threads pane, which the ISDE populates with the selected modules and module options for the selected thread. If there is more than one module that can fulfill a dependency requirement, the ISDE prompts you to choose a module from a drop-down menu. The default view of the Threads tab includes a common thread called HAL slash common. This thread includes the drivers for I.O. control, 
clock generation circuit, and the event link controller. The default stack is shown in the HAL slash common stacks pane. The default modules added to the HAL slash common thread are special in that the SSP only requires a single instance of each, which the ISDE then includes in every user-defined thread by default. In applications that do not use an RTOS or run outside of the RTOS, the HAL slash common thread becomes the default location where you can add additional drivers to your application. Once you have added a module to either the HAL slash common or to a new thread, you can access the driver's configuration options in the properties view. If you added thread objects, you can access the objects configuration options in the properties view in the same way. The messaging framework extends the ThreadX messaging queue functionality and is one of the most important SSP modules. It provides the mechanism for threads to communicate with each other through exchanging messages. The messaging framework allows threads to send, publish, or listen to, pend on messages when pre-configured or user-configured events happen. Any thread can publish a message with an attached event class that all threads subscribing to this event class can listen to and act upon. The list of threads that can listen to a specific event class is called a subscriber list for that event class. To use the messaging framework, you first must add one messaging framework instance in the threads tab. You may add the messaging framework to any thread which is not the HAL common thread. All threads in your project can use this instance to communicate with each other. Some modules, like the touch panel framework or the audio playback framework, require the messaging framework and add it automatically to the stack as shown here for the audio playback framework. If your project includes a thread with such a module, you do not need to add another instance of the messaging framework even if you add more threads to your application. All threads can share the same instance of the messaging framework. Once you have added a messaging framework instance in the threads tab, you can use the messaging tab to define your own event classes and events and determine which threads can listen to which event class. The SSP contains some predefined event classes and events for the touch panel and the audio framework modules. If you have added any of these modules, their predefined event classes and events are shown in the messaging tab as well. The predefined event class and events for the audio playback framework are shown here. The ICU tab allows you to view the interrupts in the interrupt control unit, or ICU. You can easily enable or disable interrupts and assign the desired interrupt priority. The components tab enables the individual modules required by the application to be included or excluded. Modules common to all Synergy projects are pre-selected. All modules that are necessary for the modules selected in the threads tab are included automatically. You can include or exclude additional modules by ticking the box next to the required component. After you have seen this video, we hope that we have covered the basics of the Synergy Project Editor configuration tabs. We suggest that you watch the following videos. The Clock Configurator, the Pin Configurator, the RTOS Configurator, the Message Framework Configurator, adding Xware sources to a project. Thank you for watching. 